and girls, welcome to Storytime. Today we're going to be reading books about dinosaurs. <gasps> Boys and girls, do you have any toy dinosaurs like me? If you do, hurry up, go and get them. I'll wait. Parents, while the kids are getting their dinosaurs, if you comment on Facebook about Storytime, you'll be entered in to win a book raffle. Wow, you guys are back already? Good job, you're fast like a dinosaur. I need everybody's help now to welcome our special friend. Are you guys ready to wave and say hi to Theo on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three. Hi, Theo. Hi, Ooh. everyone. Whoa, what are you wearing? This is my dinosaur mask. Mm -hmm. My friend and I were just playing dinosaur tag. That's so fun. Can I try it? Absolutely. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I was just telling the kids about dinosaurs. I have some special books about dinosaurs. Would you like to stay and listen for a while? Oh, yes. Okay. Our first book is about how God made the dinosaurs. God made the dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs were tall as trees. Some dinosaurs were small as flowers. Some dinosaurs ate plants. <laughs> Some dinosaurs ate meat. Rawr. Some dinosaurs had long necks and tails. Some dinosaurs had almost no neck or tail. Some dinosaurs could run really fast. Some dinosaurs could hardly run at all. Every dinosaur was wonderful and special because God made them all. The end. I'm so glad God made the dinosaurs and all of us. Me too. God is sure awesome. Let's read our next book. It's called Tyrannosaurus Rex. Aptosaurus colors. Pterodon inspects. Velociraptor glitters. But Tyrannosaurus Rex. Stegosaurus stacks. Triceratops Rex. Galliomyus builds it up. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Styracosaurus copies. Stigmalock checks. Iguanodon picks out a book. Tyrannosaurus Rex. No. Tyrannosaurus, stop it! Tyrannosaurus, no. Tyrannosaurus, knock it off. Tyrannosaurus, go. Tyrannosaurus leaving. Dinosaurs are glad. But Tyrannosaurus is lonely, miserable, and sad. Tyrannosaurus fixes, erases, and corrects. Tyrannosaurus tidies. But Tyrannosaurus wrecks. Tail is too big. Tyrannosaurus crying. Giant dino tears. Tyrannosaurus giving up. Ugh. When dinos say, come here. Come here, friend. Tyrannosaurus colors. Pterodon directs. Tyrannosaurus builds and stacks. Triceratops protects. Tyrannosaurus is careful. He checks and double checks. Tyrannosaurus grateful. Then... Aptosaurus Rex! Oh no! The end. Wow, all those dinosaurs. They were pretty awesome. I have another dinosaur book. It's so fun. It is Who Goes Roar? Quiet dinos are a bore. It's time to find out who goes roar. Triceratops loves leaves to munch. She eats them with a mighty crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. Brachiosaurus stomps around. His feet go thud and shake the ground. Velociraptor is very fast. She screeches as she hurries past. Screech, screech. Stegosaurus gives a snort. This dino is the grumpy sort. Snort, snort. T-Rex thinks his nose is the best. 
His roar is louder than all the rest. Roar! Now you found out who goes roar. The only noise left is a snore. <sighs> the end. Whoa, those dinosaurs were awesome. They were fun. I know another thing that snores. Do you guys? Theo. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, before we have another book, we need to do some dino stretches. Ready? Everyone get a big stretch with their neck. That's like a brachiosaurus. Okay, stretch out your arms. Now flap them like a pterodactyl. Wow. Okay, stretch out your big legs and run super fast like a velociraptor. Hmm, our last one. Can you stretch your jaw? Oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna roar like a big T-Rex. Roar! All right, boys and girls, now it's time to have Miss Ashley come and read us some books. Hi, boys and girls. It has really been fun reading about dinosaur books and those were awesome dinosaur stretches. Great job. I think you're really gonna love these next few books. So let's turn around and sit on the ground and we're gonna read Counting Dinos. Rodrigo was a dinosaur who tried to count from one to four. He started off with number one. One tree, one pond, one cloud, one sun, and a tail he liked to swing for fun. Another dinosaur named Sue said, I can help you count to two. I have two arms, two pairs of claws, but more than two teeth in my jaws. She saw two clouds up in the sky, two pterodactyls flying by. How many wings they each have two. Now what comes next? I know, do you? Another dinosaur named Stan said, I can count to three, I can. Just look at me, I have three horns. He snacked on branches full of thorns and on one branch, a nice surprise, he counted three big dragonflies. A funny dinosaur named Gus said, I can count the four of us, Rodrigo, Stan and Gus and Sue. I know what all of us can do. Let's count the spikes upon my tail. He had four spikes and four big feet. He found four stones, a yummy treat. We know the numbers up to four, but what comes next? Let's count some more. The smartest dinosaurs alive came running in a pack of five. We love to count, they said, it's true. If we can count, then so can you. They found five pine cones on the ground, five mossy boulders in a mound. Another smart one joined the mix. She laughed and said, let's count to six. Six dragonflies with blurry wings, six itty bitty blurry things. But when the dinos tried to play, the little creatures ran away. A hungry dinosaur named Kevin taught the rest to count to seven. He munched on seven leaves for lunch. His great big jaws went crunch, crunch, crunch. A clever dinosaur named Kate said, guess what's next? The number eight. She left eight footprints on the beach. She saw eight fish just out of reach. The number eight, said Kate, is fine. But even better is number nine. She found nine shells with loops and swirls. Inside nine clamshells, lots of pearls. Rodrigo cheered, he said, it's fun to count to nine, but are we done? The smartest dinos once again came running in a pack of 10. Don't stop yet, we'll show you how to count to 10. Let's start right now. The fastest one said, follow me. What did they count? What did they see? One river flowing to the shore. Two big volcanoes, hear them roar. Three comets shining in the sky. Four pterodactyls flying high. Five happy, busy, buzzing bees. Six enormous redwood trees. 
seven seed cones on the ground, and guess what else we all have found? Eight furry mammals way down low, nine leafy ferns all in a row, and standing up on tiny legs, ten babies hatching from their eggs. And as those hatchlings grew and grew, Rodrigo taught them how to count numbers too. The end. Wow, those dinosaurs did a great job counting. They sure did. All right, boys and girls, now I need everyone to stand up for our next book. We're going to read Dinosaur Dance. Zang, pop, kidly pal. The dinosaur dance is starting now. The blue stegosaurus goes shimmy, shimmy, shake. The red brontosaurus goes quivery, quake. Triceratops goes tappity tap, and pterodactyl goes flap, flap, flap. Tiny little dino goes deedly dee. I don't know his name. What could it be? Velociraptor twins go boppity bop. Tyrannosaurus rex goes stomp, stomp, stomp. Iguanodon goes dibbity da. And the tiny little dino goes cha-cha-cha. Yes, the tiny little dino goes cha-cha-cha. Now everybody wants to try the cha-cha-cha. The end. Oh, that was so great. Good job dancing. Good job, boys and girls. All right, it has really been fun reading about dinosaurs and learning more about them. We have one more book left, so come on, boys and girls, we're going to read Oh My, Oh My, Oh Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs happy and dinosaurs sad. Dinosaurs good and dinosaurs bad. Dinosaurs big and dinosaurs tiny. Dinosaurs smooth and dinosaurs spiny. Dinosaurs weak and dinosaurs strong. Dinosaurs singing a dinosaur song. Dinosaurs cold and dinosaurs hot. Dinosaurs cute and dinosaurs not. Dinosaurs early, dinosaurs later. Dinosaurs crammed in an elevator. Dinosaurs plump. Dinosaurs lean. Dinosaurs red, blue, yellow, and green. Dinosaurs looking right at you to say goodbye because we're through. The end. Oh my is right. I better get back to playing dinosaur tag with my friends. Roar! Don't go yet, Theo. We need you to stay for our last activity. All right, boys and girls, on the count of three, let's say bubbles. Ready? One, two, three. Bubbles! Bye, boys and girls. Bye. Bye. See you at the next story time.